nice to see you here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's good to be back. Yeah. Long time no bubble gum. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but uh, true, <laughs> true story. Oh, it was good. No, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the last time we saw each other was like when we got the concert here. Do you mm -hmm. remember? Yes. yes. It was. It yes. was. It was fun. It was. It was good fun. It's always fun with us. Yeah, it was. Great. Always fun with bubble gum. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice see, one. That's, that's why I write story. songs. That's why I write songs. Next one. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Meanwhile, you've been on holiday recently. Yes. Nice. Could you both relax? Uh, yeah. I I see. I didn't so much relax. I just kind of like went out. You was you was doing things. Yeah, I was doing things. You was making moves. I was windsurfing quite a bit. The I actually quite did the windsurfing myself. I, I did like yeah. I did literally nothing. And then I had like three days out there just on my own. Like everyone left. We was out there with like our whole team, and then everyone left, and then it was just me. It was quite kind of sad actually. Good. Yeah, Why? It was nice. Isn't it relaxing to be alone? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to be alone. And like, especially in a place alone. where there's no air conditioning. Do you yeah, know okay. <laughs> you could have just went downstairs. There's air conditioning downstairs. Yeah, we Cecile just, like, changed the sheets, didn't she? So I don't want to make her do them again. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You've played a lot of concerts for the Choke Tour already. Yeah, sure. Okay. So what were the coolest shows you played? Berlin. Shout out. Yeah, Berlin was good, actually. <laughs> Cologne. Shout out. Cologne. Shout out. Cologne. Um, oh, what was the one on the boat? That was lit. Oh, Budapest. Budapest nice was one. lit this year. Uh, we played a show like it was on a boat. Like, it was on so a boat. cool. Like it was actually on a boat. Like so we how was, many people we, went there? We made that boat rock. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the. Is that, say it was I actually. don't know. It's it was big though. It was like it was one of the biggest of the tour. I know yeah. that. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that boat nice. was rocking. <laughs> okay, so what was the craziest situation which happened to you? During the tour? During that tour? Yeah. Ooh. What happened? <laughs> I think it's think something, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, a lot happened. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there was a lot of <laughs> what, what we can talk about. I don't <laughs> know. Um, it was a long tour, you know? We was on the road. I think uh, we had, like, three days off um, in Amsterdam. And, oh, he wasn't there, bro. That's so sad. But, like, that was crazy. Like, because we had three days off. Like, everyone was just, like, having loads of fun for those, like, three days, you know? But Leo wasn't there. Leo decided to stay at home. So he kind of missed Why? that. But Because, like, I ain't a party go. I'm going to sit in my yeah, room. It wasn't really even partying. It was just, it was just, like, the vibe was just so good. Like, I don't know yeah. if anyone's ever been to Amsterdam, but there's so much to do there. Like, there's, like... Next week, I'll be there. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. And, uh, like, just with m such a big group, it was just so much fun, you know? Yeah, that was, like, the most days off we had in a row the whole tour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not? And you <laughs> you just passed everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah nah. you missed. Sorry, bro. Sorry, man. What was the craziest <laughs> thing that happened for you on the tour? The craziest thing that probably happened to me. Being Shay at FIFA. That's probably yeah, it probably was. just being everyone at FIFA, oh, not yeah, just Shay. Yeah. <laughs> FIFA. He played FIFA like every day. Yeah. I played like three times. I got beat three times and then never played again. Yeah. So He was beating me 4 0. I came back and beat him 6 4. And then I never played again. <laughs> and that's how it is. That's how it is. How does that even happen? I don't know. <laughs> the truth hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next up, you're doing two months of shows in America. So are you excited? It actually got cancelled. Mm. No, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, rescheduled. Yeah, rescheduled. rescheduled. Okay. Yeah, rescheduled. Because we, we got another thing to do in America. Yeah. But we can't say what it is yet. No, it's, it's a surprise. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah, we just need... Album's coming and then things will come. As soon as it's here, we'll be there. Don't worry. Okay, so we can be ex excited for it. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. coming. It's coming. Okay. Definitely. Then I'm excited too. Okay, so <laughs> what song could you never not perform on the stage? It's got to be hopeful. hopeful. Yeah. yeah, it has to be. Like, like I don't want to perform it, but we have to. Yeah, <laughs> like, like it's not that we don't like the song. It's just I have literally sang that song more so times, times than I've had hot meals in the past five years. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would probably have one hot meal a day. I reckon we performed on average, hopeful, three, four times a day. <laughs> like, it, we've genuinely had days where we performed it, like, three times a day, four times a day. Like, it, it has happened, like, back at the start. Um, and it's like, you just get bored of singing the song, sure. not bored of the song, you know. Uh, but it's definitely, we have to do it every show. Every yeah. show, we're like, should we take it out? And we're like, no, we can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Because it's, it's, it's a bad boy rhythm, that's yeah, right. Yeah. But you still like it. Yeah, I like the song and everything. It's just uh Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I know, I it's like you. yeah, you keep eating chocolate, you're gonna get sick. Do you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. when helpful comes on, I just get like that feeling in my stomach. It still it? makes me smile. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when everybody's screaming, why not? 
Why not? And it's a vibe. It's yeah. a holiday. Yeah. Sure. It's a wibe. wibe. The wibe. wibe. <laughs> <laughs> nice description. Okay, so you've recently perform performed two songs for Vivo. Mm -hmm. Okay, how was it like? That was a good experience, actually. Like, it's something that you don't really get to, like, choose to do. Like, you know, it's, it's like quite an honor for them to, like, invite us on. So that was real good. And, um, yeah, it was amazing to tie in the Waiting for the Sun music video with the uh, with the single. Like, I think that was a really good thing. I don't think many people have done that, you know? I don't. There's not many videos out there, like, as the music video, as a live video. Like, that's the only music video for that song. And... Um, I think it. I think it was really good. Dude, you are sweating like a I'm dog. Not, I'm not even lying. Like it's like 33 degrees outside. I'm literally like like a shower right now from my forehead. <laughs> like it's dripping everywhere. Like what can I do? Nobody will see. Hold on. And then pass me the other one. It's like tomorrow. Everybody just running to the side. What's wrong? I'm just using my sweatpapers. <laughs> that looks so good. Do you prefer to be in the studio or do you prefer to play live? I think I prefer to be in the studio. Like, on a good day, when you're vibing, there's, I don't know. Such a good question. Because it depends on the show. It actually depends on the show. Like, if it was, like, a, a festival or something like this, like, I'd probably be like, nah, studio. Yeah. But if it was, like, a sold-out Bars and Melody show, like, it'd have to be a sold-out Bars and Melody yeah, show. To be or, fair. like, a big, big festival. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like festivals, but, like, I don't like festivals. Do you know what I mean? You get me, don't you? Yeah, it has to be like a good crowd or like a lot of your fans for it to be a good festival, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, I'd, I think I'd say I'd say show, definitely. No, nah, I'd say in general studio. I love the studio. I love the studio, but I just think like you can reach another levels of buzz on stage than you can in the studio, you know. I guess. Do you know what I mean? Like there's an adrenaline you get on stage that you can't find anywhere else. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we just talked about waiting for the sun. Yeah. So I just heard it, and it's pretty cool. And how did you come up with it? Waiting for the sun. Just waiting for the sun. Yeah, yeah. we was just like, <laughs> we was allergic to it, so we might as well just. <laughs> nah, it was um, it was a long process actually waiting for the sun. Yeah. It took a long time to get it right, and uh, there's not really much to say apart from the fact that it was just a very good session with like a very like special like writing meaning behind and uh the rest of the the hard work really was production you know we kept changing things well like if you remember the f i didn't even know if you remember it, it was so long the first version of waiting for the sun had like it was completely different yeah I, it was actually my favorite of all of them <laughs> really yeah. no nah, bro it can't be it really was but like still is it was still is no not like no it was like yeah i know da, da, i know da. i know yeah da, yeah da. yeah yeah bro still my favorite I, I still my favorite it. and um <laughs> we, we were like okay we gotta change this and like it took so long to like rearrange get like do all the different parts and stuff and you're the one with the yeah yeah, yeah bro, that was the one no but the verses were dead all oh, right okay, yeah okay. But, but now you like it but yeah now we worked so hard to like get it different like we added in a rap there wasn't a rap to begin with it was just like a singy mm. versy bit and then um i flew, flew back out to berlin again for like we flew out like three or four more times to keep rewriting just, this, just song. For this song just yeah for this song took like yeah too many hours i like that mid late bit it goes we will be all right uh, like it took a whole day to write that <laughs> yeah because like we just we couldn't come up with anything we, we just, just sat we, there we, just we're perfectionists as well when it comes to that stuff like we don't cut corners you know yeah. if it takes us all day we'll take all day just for like eight even lines even if we take all day and it doesn't come we'll leave it and come back to it like we don't just like we don't write it down unless it's good enough, you know? I feel like when you spend so much time on something as well, like you put so much energy into something, like it really, it really, <laughs> it really, you can hear it when you sing it. There's like an energy about that part in the song and it's always everyone's favorite part. And I feel like that's because we spent so much time writing it and it means so much. And like, I don't know, like the journey we went on to get there was a great experience. Yeah. Right decision. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So tell us more about the song. What is it about? Uh, so waiting for the sun. It's all about, you know... It's a metaphor, really. Yeah. Like, you're just waiting for that special someone. Yeah. You're waiting. It doesn't have to be... And uh, I, I, when I listen to it, I mean, you can take it as you please, but when I listen to it, I imagine, like, the verses, like, 
when I'm like rapping and Charlie's singing like in the verse, it's more like the night time. And then when it comes to like the like the part when it goes, uh, I can't even the remember chorus. it. Yeah, the chorus. That's the one. And uh, it goes like, wait for the sun. I just imagine like you just see like a glimpse of the sun and then like the drop comes in. And mm -hmm. Just paints a picture in your head. <laughs> but it's like waiting for that special someone to, and when you're like you're alone in the night time and you can't stop thinking about this person and it's like you have a knot in your chest and you can't do anything about it so you're just writing down how you feel and then you're just waiting for that time that you can spend together again. Cute. <laughs> so most important question, how long do you have to wait for the sun? About three hours. <laughs> Depends really where you are in the world as well, yeah. isn't it? Um, <laughs> nah, yeah, like I said, it's a metaphor so I think it's just... Um, like Leo said, it's about, you know, having that dark side and then light side. You know, if you listen to the verses, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty like uh, self-doubting and stuff like this. And then the chorus is just like, hey, well, you know, you screw it, it, screw it, we'll be all right. You know, basically, yeah. that's, 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 that's the vibe. And uh, yeah, how long we wait? Pff, don't know, it'll come. <laughs> it'll come, we don't know when, but it's coming. I don't know, it's something about songwriting and like when you write a song you get in a zone and like it's hard to come out of that when you come out of that zone to remember anything you've been doing because it's such like a lonely like isolated place. Which direction are you going with these songs? I mean I think we're definitely maturing um, but we're just not doing it too... We're too maturing, look at this tash. Know, oh, come on man, that's uh, not a tash either. Oh, no, nah, be it. <laughs> a chin tash. Um, a chin tash, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's so hard for us to say. Um, we're definitely maturing and we're learning and we're working and we're creating new things every day. So. I think that we're going in a direction, that, like we're not too sure where we're going. It's undescribable. We're just doing, we're just here doing our thing. Whatever yeah. sounds good on the day, whatever comes out. I think we're, we're just here to express ourselves. The most important thing about what we're doing is that we're enjoying it and the fans are enjoying it. Like I really like, I can't be motivated if I'm not enjoying it. Like I need to like, sing songs that I like I'm feeling like I'm like I go for it in the studio I don't hold back and if I'm if I feel like I'm holding back then I won't be able to like put all I can into the song mm -hmm. so I feel like I've done that a few times before but now I don't want to do that anymore I want to really have like a passion that no one can kill so with this next album I really feel there's 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 no song on there that I really don't feel passionate about nice words thanks <laughs> actually nah there is one but I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can work it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you tell us more about the album? There is still, to this day, not much we can say. Um, <laughs> no, there's a lot of so songs. We say that secrets. we say that every time we come here. Nah. There's a lot of songs, to be fair. Like, we've done a lot of songs. Yeah, we've done over, like, 40, 50 tracks for this album. They won't all go on, but, like, that's how many songs we've recorded. Um... It's just a waiting game. Everything will be revealed. Like I feel like when we go into record, we record in sections. So we'll go into the studio for like, we'll be in there for like, we'll have like a month of studio sessions. We'll record an album's worth of material. And then I feel like we recorded like four different albums. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Literally, literally. Like, I feel like we have like four different sections of how we're feeling at the time. Yeah. And now we're just going to let mix and match. But it's coming soon. There's no official release date right this second. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we've had to push it back, uh, just just for for reasons that everyone will see when it comes out. There's there's a reason for everything, you know. So uh, you know we're not just here being lazy and not writing enough songs. We've <laughs> we've, we've we've got like four albums worth of songs, but we're just we're just waiting for the right time, and it's uh, it's gonna be very soon. I'm excited because there's songs on there that even you're like, and that's right. Yeah. We're excited about. I feel about like everything. you don't like to, uh, like songs. What? Upcoming songs, yeah. upcoming yeah, yeah. videos, upcoming albums. So every, everything's a secret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not a secret. It's just I don't even know. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, it's, it's half and half. It's half like we don't know and we're told shh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Everything will be revealed soon. Yeah, you can't soon. spoil the surprise. It's like I'm telling you what you're getting for your birthday. Do you know what I mean? I can't yeah, be doing it's that. Like, okay, yeah, shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da, here's a pair of shoes. You know? So, <laughs> for so like, birthday in two yeah. weeks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, maybe another question, which Go you for it. should <laughs> answer. Okay, so which songs are currently on your playlist? Nah. <laughs> I am just Light bumping house. the new Drake album that oh. he's just dropped. Like, he just dropped it like that. I had no idea. And then I was out in Greece on my own, and I was like, I need some new music. And then all of a sudden, oh, Drake's released an album. So oh, yeah. I've just been bumping that. I've n not actually listened to anything else. I've not listened to anything else. So not far. the biggest Drake fan, but I love... 
recently, like, well, not recently, the past, like, six months, just everything Suicide Boys, everything, yeah. Yeah. like, non-stop. I mean, I like the odd song. I like the odd Russ song. Like, I'm feeling Russ. Yeah, Russ is good. And, like, Fora, but I think my favorite right now is, like, Suicide Boys, make sure a little, little, little peep, because I'm, I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little, little JB as well, right? Little JB, who's yeah. that? Wow. <laughs> Who's little JV? A little bit of JV as well. Oh, a little bit. Oh, just a yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah. Like, I mean, I like some of his songs. I bang him, but like, I not eat, right I now. Eat, I eat you bumping it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. In the shower, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I eat you. <laughs> oh, I don't even know the song he just referenced. <laughs> I don't care with JV. Oh, and Ed Sheeran, yeah. mate. You're talking about a different man. So, thank you. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to go take a, uh, take a shower, to be honest, because I am absolutely dripping. I think I'm going to go jump in the ice pool.